the devil whenever I wake up and get it, you know I walk straight through the fire Mama told me if I wanna do better, then I gotta fill my heart up with desire Look at my father whenever I'm getting that money, cause he's the one that I admire Started the 303 when I was younger, we came from the mud and we built an empire uh, with it. Even though in my camera box it looks like um 5'3", but I, I warn you that I'm not, I just gotta fix the height of my camera i haven't got there yet but uh student versus teacher a battle so who's the student i guess we're gonna find that out who's mark grace a brilliant mark grace versus blizzard so the teacher name is fucking blizzard <laughs> what Oh, oh what's the vibe so low? I'm gonna say on the right hand side, my man just hit SBTV for the third time this year from Manchester Blizzard. Make some noise. Yo, listen up though. We got everyone that's came out today. This is gonna be a fucking classic event. Make some fucking noise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah retro, yeah. Yeah, Search brother. Because we live. Watch with it. Out very soon. Probably out by the time this battle's online. Who's the, the teacher? Can someone tell me who the teacher? Cat on the poetry scene. If you ever see a dead poet show in your uh, your town, go see it. I went to see it myself. It's fucking insane. Mark Gris makes some noise. <laughs> God, this shit's so distorted in the headphone. This motherfucker pulls, I guess he's the teacher. He pulls up in a business suit. <laughs> Thanks very much. Like I said, uh, Dead Poets is Mixie and Mark Gris. You said Mixie on Don't Flop as well. Check out their show if you see a fly for it, man. Uh, you're going first, right? It's, cra it's crazy Gris. out here. Blizzard up first, 90 seconds. Let's go. Yo. Yo. My last battle was a classic. Now Don't Flop has thrown me in the fucking ditch. Because I don't want to seem sexist. Yeah, he's only giving me another bitch. Oh. Nothing, fine. <laughs> Fuck you, Mr. Gris. He said nothing, fine. Like, he wanted a reaction from the crowd? I don't like your lessons no more. All you talk about is how my attendance is poor. And you've been on my case more so than ever before. So I give you a left to the job if you ever be poor. Whatever you saw, and if I get expelled, I get sure that you'll get you some more. <laughs> you see Mixie as your companion, and you think that he's your buddy, because you both got master's degrees in dick-related studies. And, uh -oh. and yeah, you might have good holidays and be swimming in the money, but with all that marking you have to do, I bet you wish. Hold on, 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 hold on. Let's get... ah. She was a dummy, marking, no? <laughs> but hold up, you know what I mean? But hold up, Mixie, I'm taking a Mixie. You could Mixie in my drink and still could never lick me. I'll make oh. Mixie that the dead poets are history. I'm like the 10th Olympic and then you're a motherfucking pixie. When punchlines hit Mark Grist, I know they will Mark Grist. Your name is a grain, so of course I'll tear apart Grist. Yeah. And I don't care about dead poets, dead poetry. After this, you'll be a corpse under a dead poet tree. Mm. I'm always on the ball. I should be back healing. I won't stop rapping till my hands peeling and this guy gets sacked for his bad teaching. If I get gullet, you'll feel a pain in your back region. Smash glass, pain in your back region. Then you'll know what it's like to be on the wrong side of the glass ceiling. Oh. I heard teacher versus student battle and I wasn't going to class. I get to battle that nerdy bastard who failed at controlling the class. Ooh. You knobhead. I hope you drop dead. If I punch you in the face, who are you going to call? Ofsted? <laughs> <laughs> what? Amistad? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Who's that, bro? Why is it on not the fucking rewind, bro? There we go. Jim in the face. Who are you gonna call? Ofsted? <laughs> Ofsted? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Drop dead. If I punch you in the face, who are you gonna call? Ofsted? <laughs> <laughs> Is the teacher's governor boy just like how here we have we call our fucking te what do we call our teacher and shit the board of education <laughs> i get That's it right. okay 90 seconds on mark chris let's go man okay, okay. to those at home who are sitting watching youtube don't start clicking i know this might look like some kind of extreme babysitting it is <laughs> 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 
Hey. It's actually a rap battle. Two grown men lyrically bitching. Just one of us isn't legally old enough to drink inside the building. And now, Bradley's going to try and act less infantile by pretending that he's proper riled. So sit back, watch him reconcile with his lack of breastfeeding as a child. That's why this ugly duckling suckling from the teat of any bumpkin with a beat or means of dumping his meaningless shit on something. Ah. Speed of words your mumbling hides the fact they don't mean nothing. <laughs> he may have beat the witch from Oz, but it's time for me to teach this munchkin. You will never amount to something. And I'm here to Damn. raise a grievance. Big of everyone whose parents have property in Manchester, mate, that's not a fucking achievement. Wait, 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 wait. He said owning property in Manchester is not a fucking... <laughs> That's not something to be proud of. <laughs> what? Dear Manchester, mate, that's not a fucking achievement. <laughs> this blizzard lid has got no fire. It's just hot air he's breathing. And when all's said and done, as the years drag on, you look even more like Deborah Meaden. This. <laughs> uh, who's that? Deborah who? Deborah Meaden? How you say her last name? De Deborah? T tell me how you say her last, that last name. This rapper's pint sized. He's cockeyed. When he raps, Ooh. his mouth only actually moves on one side. He's a, <laughs> a prepubescent Popeye, complete with physique that implies that all the spinach in the world has died. And uh. look at him try this poor little chap, like so many anemics I've seen in my class. Dreams of riding up high on a unicorn's back or defending the world from an orchestra attack. You wank off in sandals to pictures of Gandalf. You stack with a mags in your porn uh. stash. He's got a hard on for wizards. He only called himself Blizzard because that's the company that made World of Warcraft. <laughs> he only calls himself Blizzard because that's the company that makes World of Warcraft. What a ball! <laughs> because that's the company that made World of Warcraft. <laughs> wait, wait, let me get a scheme. In sandals to pictures of Gandalf, you stack with a mags in your porn stash. He's got a hard on for wizards. He only called himself Blizzard because that's the company that made World of Warcraft. Real lyrics, man. Yo, every bar you've ever spat was a sack of pig shit. They say that words are weapons, then you must be pacifistic. I've hated you since the day I first heard you, I was antagonistic. And this next round is gonna be fucking painful like it's masochistic. It doesn't take much for me to tell you that you're lame. That's why you've gotta die like a board game. Love it? Okay, that's all, that's all right. It's a creeper, man. That's all right, that's all right. If you're trying to act like you're the boss of Don't Flop, like you're rowing, acting like you're all seeing and all knowing. But you're in a canoe with no paddles, bitch. It looks like you're rowing. And I'm going to get rid of Mark like when Germany brought the you're rowing. I don't get that, Mark. Wait, hold on. I'll come back to you in a second. Don't worry, man. Um, fuck anyone that says my battle with H-Bomb was a stroke of luck. I just hated being a laughing stock that I couldn't give a sugar-coated fuck. I'm feeling drunk off this respect now. And I've got no plans to sober up. The same guys that sent me death threats now when I hold my nuts. The battlers mm. that name drop me, I'm scared of them with ease. I'm an embarrassing pain to them like a venereal disease. So mm. bring up all your fiction, man. I dare you do it, please. Because you only talk gas, Mark, on various degrees. <laughs> Okay, I was all right. Yo. So wave to the camera. You haven't got any hope. You might as well look into the sky and ask God for the rope. It's like I'm looking at JFK's head from an optical scope. You're the dead president and I will stop to you slope. Oh. This battle oh. journey's been insane. Peace, sir, it's still taking me on a trek. Yet this guy's music couldn't even feed him a check. So escape the premises, bitch. You better leave in a sec before I turn your little classroom into Peter Protect. Time! Yeah. Time! Mm. I mean, you gotta come harder than that, brother. Bradley's last battle showcased his innate ability to hurl abuse at women. And it was so impressive that I thought that I might mimic him. A funny thing online, you whinge that your mum saw your last battle accidentally. Well, I hate to chat crap behind anyone's back, so why not address her directly? Mrs. Uh -huh. Green, Mrs. Green, please move into the screen. I've got some people behind me, I'm sure that you've seen. Uh -huh. Gentlemen, say hello to Mrs. Green. <laughs> Hi, Mum. <laughs> 
from here. You Talking about his mom. Wow. I mean, there wasn't much light. You were a lower height, kind of slobbering like a Doberman. <laughs> <laughs> He's a slobber. You was a little high slobbering like a Doberman. <laughs> kind of slobbering like a Doberman. Yeah. <laughs> Those nights out gathering STDs while Bradley stayed in collecting Pokemon and you beat him by a landslide because he only collected most of them. Oh! Mrs. Green, that froth from between your maw's jaws dribbles more than an entire football team. Oh. When you sit down, it sounds like a sea lion applauding. <laughs> Not many women insert a life jacket before a young man comes aboarding. Every morning, noon and night. Wait, 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 wait. He's talking about her pussy, how wet her shit is. <laughs> He said, now man put on the life jacket. <laughs> Not many women insert a life jacket before a young man comes aboarding. Every morning, noon and night, those juices they are pouring till your thighs, when spread wide, resemble laminate flooring. Oh. Mrs. Green, Mrs. Green, your son's thoughts are obscene. The truth is you live in his every wet dream. A 17-year-old Oedipus, he fantasizes about each of us, climaxing more heavily upon you than an EastEnders omnibus. <laughs> Uh, East Enemy Almonds bus? He climax. What, what does that mean? Mark, what does that mean? Bus climaxing more heavily upon you than an East Enders omnibus. I'm guessing the bus uh, climax means it, like, it goes up or something. Or what? I know what climax means when it relates to sex, but as it relates to, the, uh, to a bus, I'm guessing the bus, bus goes up. Or what is this? A fucking a Charlie? He fantasizes by each of us, climaxing more heavily upon you than an EastEnders omnibus. And that's why I'm here to stop this depravity, point out how wrong it is, the seriousness, the gravity. Explain that more rubber gets burned in your vaginal cavity than the combined alacrity of every Formula One engine battery. Ooh. I'm so sorry about you, Mrs. Green, and I'm so sorry about Bradley. I'm doing my best to help him, but he just keeps on trying to attack me. I'd be pretty pissed off, but he's doing it really fucking badly. Time. Oh, oh they're going to irony first. So far, it's two and zero. I do. I have to listen to the last round. <laughs> I didn't come here for my assessments, Mr. Grist. I came for my rapping endeavors. So don't you dare think of correcting my grammatical errors. And we know now you're a teacher, so that needs no further explain explanation. But I'm smarter than you think. Let me recap on my education. In nursery, I was a terror. I made everyone's experience hell. The only noise that I enjoyed hearing, the bell. Temper tantrums every day. I used to walk out of the room. 13 years later, I'm here making mountains of moves. I'm 17. Education has took up 75% of my life, and I hated every second of it. What, you expect me to lie? I dropped out of college because I hated that negative vibe, and it was teachers like you that made me feel aggressive inside. Yeah. You're not superior. We're the reason you get the pay that you do. Facts. And if your pass rate is too low, the government are gonna take it from you. Mm -hmm. This is like Lunacy's SVTV and you can't say it ain't true. This is Blizzard versus shit teacher, but I get to say it to you. <laughs> My scriptures make Samuel Peeps look like any old man in the street. Yeah. Make, Ma <laughs> make Martin Luther wanna write another draft of his speech. Make the likes of Oscar Wilde and Confucius sit back and retreat. Yeah. Basically, I'm in a class even this man couldn't teach. Yeah. I'm oh. pissed off at the haters. Ooh. Other rappers come off kind of sour. I hate the school system and I'll never plead to a higher power. Mm -hmm. You're just a tiny flower that I'll devour with a violent shower. So fuck you, your campus, your lesson plan, and your 895 yeah. an hour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's how you come back. That's how you come back. Round three on Mark Chris, the final round of the battle. Let's go, people. I suggest, I suggest that you fuck off and play <laughs> and stupid. play some Beyblade before I slap you with an F grade. Or he, yo, bro, he says I suggest you fuck off and go play some Beyblade. Y'all remember that fucking game from the, the DS? <laughs> <laughs> and play some Beyblade before I slap you with an F grade. Or at least go jack off to some vampires like the rest of your age range. Oh. He's trying to act tougher than me, but I suspect he might be nerdy. You're about as intimidating as a sooty, and you're only slightly wordier. I don't Ooh. care about the aggressive shit you spit online or that everybody's heard of you. You'd still give yourself a hernia trying to assemble flat pack furniture. <laughs> 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 but I keep 
you dissing him for being a teacher? What have I got to say so I can shock you? The honest truth is, Bradley, I've been served better whilst in Costa. I consider it a crime. What? What is that? Spend rhyming about the rest of the don't fly. For being a teacher, what have I got to say so I can shock you? The honest truth is, Bradley, I've been served better whilst in Costa. I consider it a crime. What is that, Mark? How much time you spend rhyming about the rest of the don't flop opera? It's a solo gunfight, not some homoerotic spaghetti opera. <laughs> and in Bradley's last battle, he wasn't dreadful. Which means when he doubt he even wrote it. See, this young green plants himself with better rappers. Hopes to get it through osmosis. The best of the truth is that his ass can take on both fists. Then he rides them in so deep he appears to be riding on their shoulders. Nice. I don't have to write like Socrates to expose your mediocrity. Yeah. Oh, and considering oh. the pics of the last battle I've seen, I'm so surprised you're not trying to get off with me. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what it looks like, man. <laughs> Honestly, Bradley, besides getting date raped by Australian women <laughs> and saying words a little bit quickly, I'm not quite sure what you actually do. Plus, <laughs> yo, he's cutting his hair. Uh, plus, it's a sad fact that half your iPhone apps are actually older than you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to deny that after his last battle, his reputation grew, but if I'm being honest, I'm going to have to write, has to improve upon this term's review. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. That's how you end the battle. Cheers. That was a 3 0 right there because the, te the teacher bars was just too devastating. Just too devastating. You couldn't understand their slang because you gotta be you could you gotta be on the on the grind retro. You see me? I'm out here doing my homework, man. I'm listening into the bars, man. That's what you gotta do, man. Fire shit. I fuck with that, man. Let's get it.